Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is from the King of the Hill from November 17th. Bottom left trend. Is this bottom left? 8 o'clock position. We have Boa starting as the brown Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we have Gypsy starting as the yellow Terran. This is a pretty classic matchup on Neo Sylphid. You got Boa, who I think still holds the crown. Honestly, I feel like the way Jayun's playing recently, there might be a bit of argument, but as far as results thus far and people who've gone deep recently, Boa currently holds the crown as the top Protoss, arguably because of the BSL Surprise Tournament, maybe you can make arguments for him as the top North American as well at the moment. He's been playing absolutely incredibly. It's going to be tough for Gypsy because Boa, in particular, his versus Terran has been very, very strong. That's not to say that Gypsy's versus Protoss is weak. It is just as far as the marquee matchup, when I think of Boa, I think of his versus Terran and his ability to pick armies apart in the mid game with High Templar in particular. And he just seems to have a lot of timings that other Protoss don't utilize for whatever reason. Uh, in particular against like four factory plays when it comes to mind as far as things that I've seen from him in the past. Gypsy, no slouch, is very, very strong, especially when he is able to get out in the map with Vultures. I kind of like that. Unfortunately, it's like I like his four factory play when he's just doing Vulture Floods and playing from there or sometimes even going sneaky and going for uh, Vulture Drops or things like that. I, I feel like he plays well when he's the aggressor. He just has an, an incredible amount of APM, incredible multitasking. But unfortunately, that's the one thing I feel like that doesn't play well against Boa in particular. So Simulator Gateway Opener from Boa to start. We'll see what he does in the mid game. Quick gas grab from Gypsy. So it looks like he does want to go for some sort of factory opening rather than just one racks into expand. This is a three player map. So it is so Gypsy playing a little bit more conservative against his opponent, maybe because this is Rampless and wants to make sure he gets some sort of presence on the ground. Rampless, I feel like, makes Dragoons all the stronger in the early game. Cybernetic score being built. So it is going to be a skip of that first sell it. And Boa now sending out that probe scout. Looks like Gypsy is going to get first scout as he's going for a clockwise scout. Probe holding short, gonna drop a pylon on his way out. And wondering if this is just a pylon to be like, yeah, I'm going for a 12 Nexus or something along those lines but I don't think Gypsy falling for it. Just kind of telegraphing that one. So pylon count where it should be at two. Usually it's that third pylon. And I take it back. Boa gonna go ahead and build an initial Zealot. Maybe again, because this is a rampless map and the Zealots can get a little bit more action out of this factory being dropped a single SCV left in gas. So I do believe this is gonna be just factory into expand. As far as a follow-up, Dragoon to follow as far as Boa's next attack unit. Saying follow too many times for some reason. And at the moment, so Boa checking the northern base is going to now send that Zealot bottom right. A Marine actually moving out into Danger Town to greet it. I think he was hoping to find the probe. Instead, this is very dangerous. Might end up, I'm not sure if he realized the Zealot was produced initially. Now it's going to be a sprint back to cover here. Maybe just, yeah, and SCVs are, let's see if the SCVs come across this gap to go ahead and blockade and provide additional linebacker support. Zealot's marching in, but no, Boa just threading that gap immediately. Second Marine out. Kind of caught in between. Good split there by Gypsy, but was still able to get on that Southern Marine, but so gets at least one kill. Going for the second, it's going to get behind that protective cover. But the Zealot able to at least get the scouting information. One kill sees that first Vulture being built and getting some pretty good damage on these two initial Marines, which is going to open up this Dragoon to do additional harassment as a follow-up. So it's gonna be two vultures, some SCV, and the SCV is gonna be necessary against these Dragoon because these Marines are each a shot apiece. So if Boa micros this just perfectly, yeah, he's gonna be able to get a lot of additional kills and vultures don't trade well versus Dragoons. So now that all sorts of SCVs being pulled off the line to help engage this, the Dragoon now gonna back out as a follow-up. Boa going ahead and grabbing his command center after just a gateway opener, dropping robotics facility and range. So I think he went Robo first before range. So it's also possible we're going to see some very rapid Reaver play as far as a follow-up. Three Marines on the front, which I think is a better part of better part of Valor playing it safe here. Courage is the or what is it? I can't remember that quote off the top of my head. All of a sudden, I'm feeling bad about it. Something is the better part of Valor. <laughs> Someone will say it in the comments, and I'm just going to be like, "Yes, that's what it was." Siege tank will be out momentarily to help keep these Dragoons off the front. I think Gypsy is going to realize that it's a faster Robo play because of the later Dragoon range. Going to see if it's going to be a shuttle first. Yeah, shuttle first into Robo, I believe. 
And let's see if he produces an engineering bay or tries to get out an earlier Goliath as a result. Have a factory that's being built behind this at the very least. Natural expansion bit behind Boa, so Boa is going to have that economic advantage. Robotic facility, oh, this is an interesting location. Maybe realizing that Gypsy's not in a position to push into him. Dropping that robotic support bay right on the front as part of discretion. Thank you. Ch Twitch chat has it. Discretion is the better part of valor. Man, why could I not come up with that? Maybe because I have problems with that in my own life. Go figure. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I'll be better about that in the future is what it'll come down to. But anyway, Dragoons right there to uh, control vultures potentially trying to move into that natural expansion. Reaver being built on the way. Second gateway being tacked on for Boa. Gypsy just keeping the siege tanks out in a defensive position. Is re he's researching mines. So it looks like he does want to potentially go for a follow-up of vultures. Engineering Bay now being built to potentially deal with this Reaver. Curious of the timing of this, because this feels late, actually. I'm not sure if he realized that it was a skip. Doesn't matter, though, because he's going to attack forward with three siege tanks, a vulture, and this grouping of marines. And this Reaver is going to be out just in the nick of time with the timing of all of this. And honestly, this feels like a squad moving out to their death without a lot of anti-air. The Dragoons should be able to engage this fairly well. And this is, if it stays bundled up, is a Reaver's delight. So gonna, the shuttle speed's not there yet, but starting to move out towards the natural expansion. One Dragoon gets picked off immediately. The shuttle now moving across that top edge, dropping huge splash, catching Marine and these siege tanks. Vulture's trying to push in as well. Actually, I'm not sure I've seen this before. One siege tank getting picked off. A mine dragging into that Dragoon, able to take a probe with it. Vulture dying on that as well, but it looks like Boa is going to hold. Probes being forced off the line to engage this. But Gypsy playing very aggressively and very honestly dangerously here, because if he loses these two siege tanks, that could be a very scary defense. However, has superior counts now. Probes trying to engage versus these Vultures. They're getting wiped out as they're pulling off the line. Splash taking care of the mines and actually not detonating on those probes as well. This is putting Boa behind in the overall worker count. And the siege tanks backing off. So actually, I think Gypsy's going to be fine if he pulls these siege tanks back. That little off-timing attack and reinforcing it with some more vultures really hurting Boa's economy has basically caught this entire front off guard. More vulture kills here at the natural. So now Gypsy in a fantastic position has a huge worker lead. Still has siege tanks and more vultures flooding forward. The Reaver at least able to intercept and wipe those out. So where I thought it initially it was going to be an okay defense instead, Boa now 10 workers down, and Gypsy back at home base with those siege tanks, tacking on two additional factories, now working on siege tech. And I don't think Boa has enough to engage this as far as a follow-up. Looks like he's going to try to grab an emergency nexus to try to deal with this. However, the vultures, I think, are going to be able to sneak in. No, well, maybe. I thought they were going to sneak into that corner and spot it. Instead, trying to take another shot at that natural. Reaver making its way out. These two Reavers need to do a bunch of damage. Two siege tanks, three siege tanks here to provide some support. This is a very droppable main. So, and it looks like the Vulture has found that. So, it, he, so Gypsy now knows that there are three bases here. Shuttle should be free to move around with that turret gone. Looks like that siege tank gonna get picked off as well before it's really able to get a massive shot. And the Reaver is actually just gonna take, they're like, okay, I'm comfortable in this corner. Let me just go ahead and deny this gas and wipe out supply depots and get some free shots. Looks like some vultures still trying to engage that. Some Dragoon's gonna go ahead and clean up that corner. That is putting Gypsy in the red. So this is gonna, so despite having a superior economy, isn't going to be able to build for a couple minutes, and that's going to give an opportunity for Boa to catch up both economically and in the overall supply count. So Boa, with a nice kind of reaver harass, some mines being dropped behind this, to get right back in this match. Second machine shop being dropped for Gypsy. Starport plus one weapons on the way. But Gypsy, I think with, I think with that maneuver, Boa, yeah, able to sneak right back in. You can see worker count has stabilized. And he's, it just takes a long time to build those supply depots to get that supply back. So using this opportunity to surge right back in this match, some vultures able to pick off probes as they're transferring to the 11 o'clock. But the worker count still fairly close to even here. And Gypsy still in the red. Man, it feels like he's been in the red for the last minute, finally able to get supply depots down to start building again. But that's giving Boa the 20 supply lead to get right back in this match. Well played by him, a gateway 
being tacked on as well. It looks like Zealot leg speed. And I wonder if we're going to see larger mass shuttle play. So we got one shuttle out. I wonder if it's just going to be mass shuttles versus uh, comparatively, you know, instead of the uh, Arbiter play in the mid game. Goliath range being upgraded. It looks like the eggs also being cleared out of the front to allow a little bit more troop movement. movement. Third base being built very deep in the base. I think Gypsy's going to go for that six o'clock base. Is actually moving out vultures there to go ahead and check it out uh, initially. So I think, yeah, they're going to go for the... Well, let's see which base they go for. There's the option to... Let's go ahead and do a late game minimap reveal. So you got this base. I feel like this is the base that turned more often leg grabbing. But uh, yeah, I believe Gypsy, especially after that last attack, wants to go for a longer term upgrade advantage. Reaver is just holding the front to maybe deny Vultures as they're able to sneak out. Mine's getting cleared mid-map. But was sitting on a five factory count. So in theory, the or sorry, uh, gateway count. So in theory, these factories should be able to outproduce him over the long haul. A dropship has taken the field. It looks like it's just going to exit to the north to scoop up these vultures that have already expended their mines. Maybe go for a drop over this ledge. I think the Dragoon might be able to shoot the gap right there, but they could create havoc on multiple locations on the map. However, while this dropship's moving its way around, Boa is staging up potentially for an attack of his own. He's got the two shuttles. And I think this observer sees, yeah, not a lot of siege tanks on the front, just three siege tanks currently. And that is not a lot. And this is enough, this is enough bulk. And honestly, between the reaver fire and the speed zealots to potentially jump on top of this. So the vulture is going to drop at Boa's third as the shuttles move in and they might be able to bomb on top of this. So yeah, zealots drop the reavers get down there obliterate the siege tanks and now there's zero siege tanks defending the front and a big army pushing in as gypsy is trying to go ahead and grab that third the vulture is getting a lot of probe kills but it doesn't matter because as siege tanks are spawning there's a massive attack force moving in and that might be gg right there boa seeing the kill opportunity and seizing it SCV's getting obliterated natural expansion completely breached the remaining siege tanks there's one that looks like left at the main, but that is it. And this is all sorts of Dragoons, plus Reavers and everything else. The full mid-game Protoss fleet. Fleet, Armada, moving in. Gypsy gonna GG right there. Boa takes the win. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for listening.